guys, welcome to Westy channel. Today, Westy takes you to understand the main differences between anodizing and sandblasting. These profiles are anodizing profiles. These are sandblasting. Let us compare the two surface treatments. Sandblasting uses a high pressure sandblasting machine to blast hard particles on the metal surface. So it will achieve smoothness and rough finish. Anodizing is an oxidation electrolysis process that forms an oxide film on the metal surface. Aluminum sandblasting is a physical treatment, and anodizing is a chemical treatment. Sandblasting is suitable to remove the surface dirt, oxide layers, coatings, and scratches while anodizing is suitable for anti-oxidation and improve wear resistance. Anodizing is just applied for alumina. Sandblasting can be used for various materials such as metal, plastic, and wood. Anodizing is suitable for electronics, aviation, medical, and other industries. Sandblasting is suitable for automobiles, home appliances, constructions, and other industries. Do you know sandblasting or anodizing first? Generally, sandblasting is first. There are three reasons. First, sandblasting can remove oxide layers, rust, on the metal surface, making it helpful to uniform oxide film when anodizing. Second, sandblasting can increase surface roughness, making the oxide film more stronger and adhesive. Last, anodizing generally uses electronics to form an oxide film, and sandblasting can allow the electronic to contact the metal surface, which is better for forming the oxide film. At the last, with this suggestion, you choose sandblasting anodizing or clear anodizing. For more details, contact Wisty. Our engineers will give you a good suggestion.